It was interesting talking to George Sowden yesterday, and thanks to you, I had a chance to use one of the first ones that yeah, came in the country. And it is significant, it seems significantly different from the, from the French press to me, even though on I, 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 a purely technical basis, it seems like it's very similar. Right. Like, what, what's, your, what's your view of it? Um, well, I mean, initially when I saw it before I had tested it, I, I just figured it would be uh, similar to a plunger type French press coffee, which uh, is, is, a, is a nice way to make coffee. Not my favorite, uh, I have to say. Uh, I, I, Chemex is, is my preferred way. But uh, uh, so, uh, but I, was, I, did, I did test it and I was really surprised by the result because the the the, the uh, and I'm going to attribute this to the the size of the of the holes that are in this the the screen, but uh, I ground it pretty much the way I would for a French press, relatively coarse coffee, and of course I use plenty of coffee to water, uh, good ratio, about two tablespoons to six ounces, and uh, maybe a touch more, and uh, and I brewed it about the same length of time as I would a French press, about four minutes, and I gave it a stir and I poured the coffee, and it really was. Uh, like a cross between French press and filtered coffee, because it didn't have the the uh, the uh, almost filmy suspension that you get of the particulate matter that 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 is present in the French press coffee, but just because the the physical screen size permits m more of the fiber to come through, and this method uh, really uh, filtered that out with this special filter, and the result was. Uh, now that I think about it, the reason it tastes more uh, brighter and more uh, more of the acid comes through is it's not that the method makes the coffee more uh, more sweeter, brighter, or acidy. It removes the suspension which dulls your ability to uh, discern that. That that and that that would be like the uh, perhaps the f uh, the flaw in the French press that you don't get in the soft brew. And again, if we go all the way back to dark roast coffees, where they, you don't get a lot of acidity, and if you're using perhaps not the absolute top coffees, you're, not, you're never gonna get that acidity. You're no, you don't miss that in the, in the French press. But uh, if you made those same coffees in the soft brew, I, I bet you'd detect that they would be not as good as you would have thought. How is that for an answer? It's a good answer. What I, I remember calling you and telling you uh, pretty excitedly is that for the first time I was able to taste that acidity in a, in a, in a steeped method. Right. It's just unusual. And, and, I'll, and I'll, bet, I'll bet that's part of it. I'll bet the, the absence of, of, of that particulate matter which is, which is trapped by that filter makes, makes it, uh, you, the, the palate more capable of tasting those flavors as opposed to uh, doing something else to uh, brew those flavors in that method that you wouldn't otherwise in, in, a, in a plunger style, because I can't imagine why it would be otherwise.